Hi my dear students, in this session I will discuss about the cleavage of peptide bond using chemical and enzymatic methods. Uh, what is meant by cleavage means nothing but the separation of amino acids individually from peptides because peptide contains more than two amino acids uh, through the it formed through the peptide bond that peptide bond is highly unreactive towards hydrolysis even non-selective cleavage is difficult to achieve so by using some reagents we can separate the amino acids from peptides first method is through a chemical method by using a cyanogen bromide see here cyanogen bromide hydrolysis peptide bonds at the c terminus of methionine residues this reaction is used to reduce the size of polypeptide segments for identification and sequencing consider this is one this is one peptide here we are adding this cyanogen bromide reagent here the electron density in cyanogen bromide is shifted away from the carbon atom making it usually electrophilic and towards the more electron negative bromide and nitrogen this leaves the carbon partially vulnerable to attack by a nucleophilic and the cleavage reaction begins with a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction in which bromine is ultimately replaced by the sulfur so in, in the next step cyanosulfonium bromide derivative of methionine is formed under acidic condition uh, under acidic condition it so it forms the under acidic condition this de derivative leads to the formation of methyl thiocyanate and the hydrobromide of the aminolactone of homocerin which is term decomposes spontaneously to COOH terminal that is COH terminal homocerin lactone and a new NH2 terminal fragment. A model peptides gave a cleavage yield exceeding 90% and there is no side reactions have been observed here. Of the common amino acids only cysteine reacted slowly with cyanogen bromide at its SH group. The applicability of the cyanobromide method to the fusion of peptide bonds was subsequently demonstrated in a protein. From this way we can separate the amino acids and then using bromine water method here we are using HOBR it is nothing but bromine water method uh, it is uh, separate the amino acids by tyrosine here by adding this bromine water into this tyrosine peptides it undergoes a bromination reaction bromine it undergoes bromination means bromine atom go and attacks to the benzene ring and it forms this structure and upon hydrolysis we will get the uh, amino acid separately from this peptide structure and by using n bromosuccinamide here it cleaves the c terminal end of thyro tryptophan tryptophan is the peptide it is one type of peptide by adding this NBS it forms this structure here the element of 2 amino 4 pentanoic acid in N acrylated tryptophan is capable of 1,5 interaction between the carboxyl or amide or peptide carbonyl group and the double bond under the electrophilic reagent such as NBS. The adjacent peptide bond is cleaved by the action of NBS. The 2 3 double bond of the pyrrole part of tryptophan that is gamma delta relatives to the carboxamide group of tryptophan residues bound in peptides participates in a displacement reaction with NBS. Next, come to the enzymatic method of cleavage. Here, a certain enzyme promotes very specific hydrolytic cleavage of peptides 
they are also peptides but they are used in very small amounts so that they do not interface with the analysis of polypeptide under investigation two enzymes uh, carboxypeptides a and b isolated from swing pancreas are specific in the sense that they catalyze the hydrolytic cleavage of only that peptide bound which has a free carboxylic group in the alpha position that is called c terminal this gives rise to a free amino acid and a shortened peptide which has new c terminus terminus the new peptide is again selectively cleaved to yield a new amino acid and a further shortened peptide with another new c terminus this process repeats itself step by step till the whole peptide chain cleaves thus in this peptide nh2 a b c d e c o h here a b c d e e it represents the many other amino acids so after a certain time interval when the peptide is only partially hydrolyzed a mixture of amino acids means these amino acids gets separated it is obtained in which the relative amounts of these acids will be in the order e is greater than d d is greater than c c greater than b and e